Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? Thank you. So I've been making a list because this is uh, what uh, video number three now of things that I should be recording and uh, my musicianship. What do I want to do? Uh, I've already done the bass. I've done my travel guitar. So today I'm thinking of doing the acoustic guitar. What's the story behind this particular acoustic guitar? Well, I have uh, my original acoustic guitar, Yamaha FG. I think it's a folk guitar series. Back home in Toronto, I am out here in rural Alberta. And I'm loving in the country with my two pygmy goats. But when I moved here, uh, I moved with a friend and then she left. So uh, at work, I was like, this sucks. So uh, a colleague of mine at work said, you know what, Adrian, I have a guitar. How want you to have my guitar? So I've got this guitar. Um, this is also a Yamaha. Um, it uh, has a nice fat body. So you get a lot of bass. And I put a uh, humbucker Fishman pickup in here. So there's no 9 volt battery here. There's no EQ, nothing I can kind of mess around with it. It's just a, a Fishman pickup. This was a really good purchase. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna flip it upside down and have it over here because when if it if it's over here it has a different uh, pickup on the magnetic resonance of the strings creating electrical current you know electricity over in this end it's kind of warmer I kind of like the warmer tone warm guitar I think I'll light a fire sometime one of these next videos. It's winter out there. A great thing about acoustic guitar is that you don't need really an amplifier. You just play loud enough um, in a basement environment. It's quite nice uh, with friends. Uh, it worked out perfectly fine. You don't need an amplifier. It's money. After learning classical guitar and going to lessons and such, um, what I did was wanted to apply those things, singing and playing at the same time, to, but to songs off the radio, and at the time was like U2 or Oasis. This bed is on fire with passion and love. That's uh, James, uh, the band called James, song called Laid. There's a lot of Brit stuff that's come over, this being Canada. This was popular at the time. Um, Radiohead um, came up with Street Spirit, uh, Fake Plastic Trees. And Fake. Tragically Hip, uh, The Bare Naked Ladies, uh, The Cranberries, Smashing Pumpkins, um, you get it, uh, that era, 90s. Like 1992? Uh, 92 or 96? High school. Uh, I'm old. <laughs> and plus a, a lot of the classics like Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin 3 was uh, very, very acoustic oriented. Um, anything and everything classic rock, 
really, uh, I really enjoyed. Strumming is easy enough. All the love ballads from the 80s, Mr. Big, Tesla, um, Poison. I remember one of the very first songs that I learned how to do in bar chords, which was pretty momentous for an acoustic guitar player, was Moody Blues, Nights in Manhattan, on VHS tape, rewind and then play, rewind and then play in black and white glory. Nights in White Satin Never reaching the end Letters are written Never meaning to say story. Um, uh, I learned how to do Landslide by um, Fleetwood Mac because in the Salvation Army it was a record and a record player but the elastic broke so I used the kitchen elastic and it dropped it down to a C which I can sing. Joey, yeah. Mm, some Aerosmith. When Aerosmith had the research, I also did a lot of uh, acoustic campfire songs. Mm, believe it or not, uh, I learned a lot of camp songs. But I went to Ukrainian Boy Scouts, and we did camp songs very different than the camp songs that a lot of English scouts know. Бо твоя врода, твоя чистая вода, твоя бистрая вода сидихи. Бачу я тебе сна, пити про... О, Пинк Флойд. Wish you were here. That's... everyone knows that one. Yeah, I learned a song in Italian once, uh, just in time for the millennium. Иджи диарни ди марцо. Is it by Bariomi or Battisti? I can't remember. Il carretto passava qui l'uomo gridava gelati. And of course, doing pubs, you did a lot of covers because you played so that uh, people would be happy and they want to be happy with the songs that they know. Surefire hits, you develop a book, but uh, having to play covers over and over and over and over and over and over again, it kind of gets tired. Uh, one time someone asked me to do Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison again. And I conceded, I said, sure, I'll do it, but I'll do it my way. So I did this. <laughs> Something that I like to do um, is throw in an octaver, and that just beefs up the, the bassiness. What I also like to do is throw in a chorus. electric riffs on it.
But why play uh, electric riffs when you can just get yourself an electric guitar? Um, the strings are very different, it being like thicker. Uh, I got an overdrive here by Ibanez. It makes it dirty, but you could also hear the acousticness instead of going through the speakers. It's really your preference. Uh, if you're playing acoustic, you kind of want the acoustic sound. Uh, or if you want an acoustic sound, you want to play an acoustic guitar. And I got slides as well. Um, I don't really use them so much. I haven't incorporated them in a lot of my music unless it's a. Um, I got like an overdrive on an electric, so on an acoustic. A lot of blues was uh, done on acoustic guitar, so um, I guess I could. I think because blues is like a whole genre onto itself, like I got a book and everything, um, and it's got lots of different tunings and such. It's got such a rich history and it's so pertinent to a lot of music these days. Uh, I think I'll do a, like a separate video. Pearl Jam. Could do some uh, Pearl Jam acoustic stuff. That was really fun. One of the favorite styles I like to do is U2 because it's got high arching vocals and sometimes some simple acoustic. Green light, gray morning, you stumble out of a hole in the ground. A vampire or a victim, it depends on who's around. So close, no matter how far. And with any guitar, there's always the choice of strap. Uh, because this one's new, and it didn't have anything to attach it to, I put that in, put that in, and got myself something nice and clothy. White on black, you could see it. I recorded some stuff on acoustic guitar. Uh, um, it's like years, <laughs> years ago. I keep on moving and working and traveling and stuff, so I haven't produced it. But that's actually coming soon because I've started to record some stuff. So stay in tune. <laughs> stay in tune. Tuning. Tuning is important. And eventually you do start developing calluses on your fingers. You toughen up and uh, eventually get stamina. Skin will tear away, but it grows back. Some things I have done um, actually kind of lends on my classical training.
Oh, yeah, maybe I have to talk about K-Pulse. You know what a K-Pulse is, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about K-Pulse. No, I should talk about K-Pulse. So this is a K-Pulse. Ra 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 ra. Ra 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 ra. Ra 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 ra. So this is a capo, and it just pinches anywhere you want it to. And it freshens the ear because you're playing in a key that's different than what you're usually hearing. And it just sounds nicer, correctly applied. you're used to hearing it like the regular same old standard you know E D A whatever uh, E A D G uh, B E um, speaking of which uh, I don't like standard tuning all that much these days for the past several years I've been doing dad gad tuning and I guess I can do uh, different styles of tunings like a whole other video actually yeah I'll do that um, it's amongst the things I've written down for brainstorming so I'm gonna do that later but I'll show you what dad get is and why I like it tuning tuning is important D D is the lowest note I can hit so D A D G A D It's also refreshing for the ear too because it's no longer in standard E A D G B C, uh, G B E tuning, um, and you get sympathetic strings. <laughs> and I have incorporated a whole bunch of ideas and songs and stuff that I'm uh, weaving together in a concert theory to play that involves all that gad. <laughs> use it for so long I'm just comfortable with it So that's the kind of sound that I like. I like the doubling of strings, the trebling of strings in some cases. This just gives me so much more juice, so much creativity, uh, different ways of thinking, different ideas. Mistakes happen and some of them sound really freaking cool and I like them, so I incorporate them. And another thing I like about that guy is that uh, even if I'm not playing the higher strings, I still have the drop D. Oh, oh, there's 
one of the songs. So that's me and my acoustic guitar, uh, or at least how I do music on an acoustic guitar. Um, a couple other licks and tricks here, but I'm not going to really go into them. Um, if you like it, I'm going to make more videos.